Hi everyone, I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer, and today I'm so excited to bring you another installment of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to event planning and running your own business. This week, we're gonna talk about a very important topic. This is the one thing that people often forget when they're planning a virtual event. The one thing, granted, there's usually more than one thing, but this is the one thing that I have found time and time again that virtual event hosts forget to think about and then they don't realize until they are there in the moment or they don't realize it until they work with a production team who has produced virtual events and knows to look out for this one key item when producing virtual events. So stick around to find out. Before we get started, I do want to remind you to like, subscribe, hit that little bell below to get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. And as always, if you're interested in learning any more about virtual events, feel free to go visit my website, loganstrategygroup.com. You can sign up for my newsletter where I send out my favorite tips and tricks every single month, fun things that I'm finding on the internet, as well as things that make me happy. So head on over there, drop your email in and sign up for those monthly newsletters. Well, without further ado, Let's get back into it. All right, I know you've all been waiting for what that one thing is. I teased it earlier, but here it is. The one thing that most people forget about during their virtual events are transitions. I said it, transitions. Now this might not be the sexy part of the event or the fun part of your event, but these are important. And when I say transitions, what do I mean? Transitions are the things that happen between your bigger elements. You spent months planning your event and you focused on these big, big elements and you forget what do you wanna have in between these bigger elements? What are your transitions? Examples of transitions could be a slide. You have a lovely slide pop up. It just says, hey, we'll be back soon, or it's a title slide. You could have fun with this, but it's a slide. It could be background music, like my little dinky background music I play at the start of my videos. It could even be a live host who is saying, thank you, Speaker A, that was so great. We really enjoyed hearing from you. All right, everyone, next up, you're gonna have our panel discussion with three of our very important panelists who are gonna talk about some very important issues. Those are all transitions. And those are all things you do need to include in your script when you're talking through and planning out your virtual event. Now, one of the ways I've been trying to think about communicating why transitions are so important, because I think as a person who lives in virtual event worlds, this is like one of my number one call outs with clients. I've just found they think so much about the big stuff and they forget about the little things, or maybe even you're having a break. So you have a four hour program, you've decided there's gonna be a 30 minute break in the beginning, but you don't decide exactly how you're gonna get into the break and get out of it. Are you gonna close your virtual event so there's nothing on screen and I'm, as an attendee, just gonna go off and do my own thing? Are you going to have a slide up with like a playlist behind it, just telling people to take a little bit of a break? What are you going to do with that transition? My favorite analogy that I can think of for this is your virtual event is like a sandwich. You often think about how it's going to start and how it's going to end. So you think about your bread, you know how you're going to catch people's attention. You also spend a ton of time thinking about the meat or the veggies if you're a vegetarian, but whatever goes on the middle of your sandwich. So you've got your start, you've got your and, you got your breads, and then you got your meat, which is your programming. So your keynotes, your PowerPoint, your uh, presentations, your panels, whatever they are. But you often forget about the condiments. Transition is like the condiments. You're not really gonna notice that it's there when it's a part of your whole sandwich, but you're probably gonna notice when it's not. I don't know about you guys, if you've ever had like a dry sandwich or a sandwich without condiments at all. And again, maybe you're that small portion of the world that doesn't like condiments at all, that's fine. But if you're someone like me, I love mustard. And so I'm always gonna wanna put some mustard in my sandwich, no matter really what it is. There's a couple of exceptions, but I would notice if I got a sandwich that was just bread and meat and that's it. I'm not saying it's a bad sandwich. I'd probably still eat it if I was really hungry, but I would definitely notice that there was no mustard. That's transitions. Transitions, you're not gonna notice them when they're there, but you definitely will notice them when they're not. Think back to a virtual event that you, you went to in the last couple months. It might be a moment where you realize there was awkward silence. There was, there was nothing happening between two elements. Maybe the welcome from the host went in immediately to just silence for about 10 seconds, which when we think right now in our head, 10 seconds, that doesn't feel very long. But then when we count it out, Three, two, one. That was 10 seconds of silence. I don't know about you, but that felt forever for me. And I'm sitting here 
trying to sh show that it's 10 seconds too long, but maybe you even just skip that part of my video because it was 10 seconds of silence. And so you need to think about those transitions and what you're gonna fill in that time. And so for example, I said slides. Slides are a great, great way to throw something up to say, even if it's a five minute transition, you said you're gonna be back in five minutes, put a slide up, play some background music under the slide so that your attendees know that their stream didn't stop, there's nothing broken. I often find if you just have a slide with no audio at all, people tend to think that they've lost audio and you'll start seeing comments coming in saying, why is the audio? I can't hear anything, what's going on? So just play a simple background music under a slide, and that's all. If you're someone who loves that live element, have your host come in or hire a live host who's going to be able to make those transitions for you. So while you're saying, hey, great panel, so excited to get you guys started, but first I'm gonna give you a couple messages from sponsors or whatever it is you wanna fill in that time in between elements. People don't realize that you can notice when those transitions don't happen. It's even as simple as going from talking and, and talking to you like this, where I'm all on screen, to then trying to go and share my, share my screen and show my slides. There might be a, you know 10 seconds there where I'm trying to figure out the button to hit, how to open it up, is it framed right? Are you showing the right screen? All of that are things that you can try to get ahead of and plan a transition, whether that's you're kicking it to someone else on your team who's gonna come on screen and talk for those 10 seconds while I quickly share my screen and get ready before you pop back to me. Again and again, I'm finding that transitions are really the one thing that a lot of virtual event hosts and organizers forget about. They don't have to be big, they don't have to be fancy, but like I said with my sandwich analogy, you don't notice them so much when they're included, but you definitely will notice when they're not. And that's all I have for you guys today, folks. I said I'd keep them short. I'm trying to just keep them snappier, a little bit more snack size if we're gonna keep with my food analogies. Uh, hopefully you learned something new about hosting virtual events. And if anything, you know now that you need to get a slide or some background music or something in there so that you can have those very snazzy transitions in your next virtual event. And as always, I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer. And today has been another installment of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to event planning and running your own business. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you again next week. Bye.